Ooh, same trousers. Oh, I hope there's nothing in the back. Hello, everybody. It's Rashida again. Oh, today I'm going to talk about styling tips to make yourself feel more confident. I've realised over the years. I've just realised from a really young age, to be honest. Do what makes you happy. People aren't always going to be happy about it, but do it anyway because it makes you happy as long as it's, you know, doesn't break any laws and is morally okay, aligned with your morals. Why not? Why not? Okay. Ah, uh, tea. Right, let's just get into it. So for the first tip, it's not really a tip, more of a question, is asking yourself, who do you think about when you get dressed? So, are you caring about other people's opinions? Are you thinking, oh, what's in? What if I don't fit in? What are you actually thinking about? I thought my battery was low, but it's not. I think that will tell you a lot about who you're actually dressing for, and a lot of the times, you can feel pressure to dress a certain way, or not dress a certain way, so you don't stand out, or you don't fit in. So I think asking that question is really key. I find most of the time I dress for myself, sometimes maybe I am influenced and I think even saying that it's almost like a proud moment, no one wants to say that, but we're all influenced by things around us, the people around us, even if we don't realise. So I think just acknowledging that and also asking who am I dressing for, am I actually dressing because I love this and I feel good or am I dressing because everyone else is and this is the trend and if I look different people stare at me or whatever else. And I think within that it's important to realise, do you want to dress for convenience, do you want to dress for style, do you want to dress for a combination of things? And if it's one or the other or something else, that's absolutely fine. That didn't make sense. Oh, I love this one. This one is the key for me. What works for you probably won't work for someone else. And it's so key to remember that. And that can be because... Of so many reasons. It can be influence, it can be style, it can be the fit, so many things and that's fine. What works for you doesn't have to work for someone else and what works for someone else doesn't have to work for you. For me, I love thinking about silhouettes. <laughs> I feel fancy saying that. Silhouettes, mostly necklines on clothes, so I love V necklines. I'm not a big fan of this neckline, but I think with a turtleneck it looks fine and as it's a sweater, it works. But if I want something a bit more hugging, I always reach out for a V-neck because I know they always make me feel good. Holt neck is such a brilliant neckline. It suits so many different types of people. And another thing, in addition, what you can do to find out what works for you is get your clothes, divide them on your bed or wherever, your workspace, your room, and think about the clothes that make you feel really good. <clears throat> put them in a pile and then think about the clothes that don't make you feel good and then put them in another pile. And then work from your good pile, work from the pile that makes you feel good and then you look confident and the fit is right. I had this whole thing in my head for a really long time about skinny jeans. I've put on weight, not a drastic amount, but I've been my one size my whole life. And then I put on weight and skinny jeans, my relationship with them completely changed. I just felt horrid in them. I wore them and I just hated it. I honestly started being quite critical, quite critical to myself and I didn't like that because I thought actually I'm pretty active, I eat well and why am I doing this? And it was just the fit of the jeans and their clothes at the end of the day. I put them away, I just tucked them away and I said I'm not going to look at them and I'm going to wear trousers or jeans that make me feel good and I that conscious decision made such a difference because for a long time I would put those jeans on and think oh I don't look like what I used to a year ago and girl who cares? if you didn't look like the way you did a year ago. People evolve, you evolve, your body changes. And I think a woman's body is so amazing. So think about the amount of crap we go through. And lastly, this is gonna be a bloody short video. And lastly, hype yourself up. Listen, 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 listen. You have all the time in the world, right? You can either choose to be bad to yourself or good to yourself. Choose to be good to yourself. Love the body you're in. Love the clothes you're in. See you later. <laughs> I hope I wasn't focused. I think I wasn't.